Welcome. All right, so what I have here is 0 equals x squared minus 1 fourth. And what I want to do for you in this equation is go ahead and solve by using the square root method. So to do that, I need to isolate my variable. And this is pretty nice, because the only thing happened to my variable is 1 is being squared, and it's being subtracted by 1 fourth. So to isolate it, I can first use my addition property of equality by adding a 1 fourth to both sides. Therefore, I have 1 fourth equals x squared. Now, to undo the squaring feature of my x on my variable, I can undo squaring by taking the square root of both sides. Remember, whenever we introduce the square root, we have to make sure we include the positive and the negative value of our number. Therefore, I have x equals plus or minus the square root of 1 fourth. Now, before you kind of say, oh, well, that's it, um, or try to even think to evaluate that, there's a couple ways we could look at this. The square root of 1 fourth can, can be broken down into the square root of 1 over the square root of 4. And um, where in this case, you could see that the answer is 1 half. You could also just look at this and say, you know, the square root of 1 fourth, what is the exact same number multiplied by itself that gives you 1 fourth? And hopefully, you'll come to the conclusion it's 1 half. Mr. Price, please call extension 1007. Sorry, can't avoid that. Thanks.